Today I'd like to show you how to put a simple gradient within a shape. The other night I was on the web searching for a tutorial like this, just a simple one that could show, uh, show me how to do this. And so I thought I'd just show all of you how to do it really, really quick now that I've learned how to do it. Uh, the first thing that we'll do is create a new document. I created one here called Gradient in Shape. First thing I'll do is go select the Shape tool. Um, I'll select a rectangle. I'll build a rectangle within my document. And as you notice, uh, it's filled with the foreground color here. Here's the foreground and background colors. The next thing that I want to do is to select the gradient tool. And I want to come up here and, you, and select the gradient bar up here in the top left-hand corner. Once I click on that, the gradient editor will pop up on the screen. I want to make sure that I choose the preset, uh, the first preset. That is the foreground to background color. It's the simplest way to do a gradient. Uh, and then click OK. Now, uh, let's see if we can put a gradient uh, within this shape. If I click here right now, a dialog will show up which says we must simplify the layer before we can proceed. So let's click OK. And now we can proceed to put the gradient within that shape layer. Now, if I go in here and try and do it right now, watch what happens. It fills the whole layer with that gradient. Not just the shape, but the whole layer. So what we want to do is to clear what I just did. So we'll do a Command-Z on the Mac or Control-Z on the PC. And then what we want to do is we want to come down here to the bottom of the Layers palette. And there's li this little transparent box that says Lock Transparent Pixels. That's what we want to do. So select that box. What that'll do is that will lock all the transparent pixels around that shape. So if we go back over here again and draw a line, hold the shift key down, draw a straight line through it, voila, we will have a gradient within the shape. I hope you enjoyed this short video. We're going to have many more short videos like this in the future, but we're also going to have more complex videos that will show you how to build complete Photoshop element websites right from within Photoshop Elements. That's right, you can build full websites right from within Photoshop Elements without writing one single line of code. So come back to Photoshop Websites and uh, see what we're doing in the future and we'll love to see you again. Bye-bye.